In this video, we're going to dev tool the Reddit website. So this is one of the most requested websites that you guys asked me to dev tool. And this series is basically we pick up the most popular websites and we look through dev tools for uh, lessons that we can learn as back end engineer and front end engineers or flaws in the website itself that could have been done better. And regardless, it's always useful to see how those big guys do stuff let's just jump into it so the first thing i'm gonna do is open up my beautiful div tools here network and then i'm gonna type reddit.com and i want you to pay attention to the moment i hit enter reddit is doing something that those other guys not do so let, let, let this download and i am going to stop right now right lots of requests and I want you to pay attention to the first request because it's very interesting. Look, look how much it took, right? And I want, I want you to pay attention to the size of this. And guys, thank you so much uh, for showing me that there is a size column. <laughs> I, was, I was like an idiot uh, going through the content length and paste to a third-party website to get the actual length. Yeah, this is a time saver, so I appreciate it. The first thing I want to pay attention to is that reddit website despite me going to reddit.com itself it immediately the first request was made to www.reddit.com so it knows in a preloaded hsds list that it should go to this subdomain if the of the of the root domain was requested and here's the interesting thing it was immediately jumped to port 443 and use the HTTPS protocol. So the first request is encrypted. We have not seen this in Apple. We have not seen this on YouTube. We have not seen this with Google itself. I'm not sure what's going on with the other website, right? Let's just quickly show you guys. Why, 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 why make stuff up? Go to google.com and then hit enter and look at the first request. It's a get request, HTTP 1.1, because it is unencrypted. It goes to port 80. And then you click on that thing. It says, hey, it's moved permanently. Go to this site instead, <laughs> right? Go to this, which is also unencrypted, HTTP. So you close that connection. You open a brand new other connection only to find out that, hey, this is also found. Go to this site instead, <laughs> to the HTTPS, right? They probably do this for a reason. And... I personally don't know why, right? So let's look at Reddit. What is Reddit doing? So it connected to an IP address called 151.101.1.140. And let's look at the waterfall. So the first thing we did is we looked up the DNS for reddit.com, took 14 milliseconds. Probably I have thousands of caches now at this point, so it didn't take much. And then the initial connection to that IP address took 83 milliseconds. And then the SSL to establish the TLS, essentially encryption between the client moi and reddit.com, the server, took 53 milliseconds. So let's take a look what TLS version that does Reddit use it. If we look, the connection is using TLS 1.2. And we talked about TLS 1.2, guys, right? TLS 1.2 is, is slower than TLS 1.3 because it does two round trips instead of one, right? You just have to do double the work. So if that was TLS 1.3, this would have been faster, essentially, and more secure, obviously. Regardless, that's not a big deal. This is what is really, really weird. Let's take a look. The request, the first request to get anything from the Reddit website was stalled for 4.15 seconds. And that's just waiting to receive the first byte. So the client, me, the user, did not see anything moving. And we saw only the loading site in the browser for four whole second. That's just unacceptable these days. Right now, the content that tells me that first request that we made that get request was 
gone through a process to build the content in order to serve it for us, right? And instead of a static page that is built. Now, that took four seconds. That means we're doing server-side rendering, which is not necessarily a bad idea. It's just it is taking a long time to build that thing. And we saw that it's a huge response, 378 kilobyte. And downloading 378 is not so bad because we did it in under a second, 670 millisecond, which is still a lot if you think about it, but not so bad, right? So we have downloading that content and we have that, but it took almost five seconds to do it. Now let's take a look. How could have th this been avoided? There must be some sort of a caching layer that Reddit implements in order to avoid that. Let's take a look. What server does Redis use? It? In the response content, I want to take a look, and they are using something called a snoo serve. Snoo serve. And that's when I looked that up, it is a dedicated Reddit server. So that's it. We don't know anything about this web server. It's called snoo S E R V. And that's the web server that is powering up Reddit on the backend. I'm not talking about proxies here. This is the actual backend. And they allowed us to peek at this server. Obviously, these, uh, these are all sent to cookies, not important. And look at this beautiful thing. Vea 1.1 Varnish. And I talked about Varnish, guys. Varnish is a reverse proxy caching layer. And I talked about it here. Check out the Varnish video if you want to learn more about it. And I made a whole course about Varnish. So Varnish is being used by Reddit. And I have absolutely no idea why Varnish is not kicking in and caching this. Am I getting served actual cached content? And in that case, why is it taking four seconds to serve that cache, right? That tells me there is a severe bottleneck either in Varnish or in the back end itself. And the fact that we actually saw the snooze server, snooze SRV, that tells me that they actually, that my request made it all the way to the back end, right? So there was multiple hops to get to the back end, essentially, right? I would show that it's actually compressed, guys, right? Guys, we're compressing this thing. It's G-zipped, right? So that tells this, the response is content encoding, but the request, did the request, the request from us as Chrome client clearly defined that, hey, as a client, I support GZIP, deflate, or Braille. I think Braille, BR, I forgot what it was called, BR, broadly. We got to do the homework, <laughs> broadly. All right, so that's, the server came back and says, okay, from whatever you support, I support GZIP, and whatever you're going to get back is GZIPed, right? And we didn't obviously see any of that, right? Because it was encrypted, right? But that's the that's what we got. We got a compressed body. And I think that's it for the first request. So we turned around, and we're now making the first call to a completely different domain, right? And so happened that it's a different IP address. So now we're using the HTTP2 protocol to now establish a brand new connection to that new domain because everything is in a different static. They are using a content management system to download the different stuff here, right? Which is whatever this thing there. This is a JavaScript file. So a bunch of JavaScript files, a bunch of stuff are downloaded from the Reddit static website. I think that's enough with this stuff. So we, the rest of the stuff is just normal stuff we saw before. Let's move to the mobile, mobile disk, uh, mobile disk, smartphone. Move iPhone 10 and clean up. Do it. To be fair, you have to clean the cache. Cache of this. No cache of this. Cache of reddit.com mobile clean up mobile oh, that's more like it 733 all right so we're seeing that 36 kilobytes way smaller makes sense reddit understand that we're coming from mobile and it will switch their algorithm to fetch me a smaller version of this right and uh, 
Still, this could be better. 700 milliseconds is so slow. We have to do better than this, right? Insert caching and even quitting the database shouldn't take 700 milliseconds. Like what are we doing to speed up this, right? And are we still hitting varnish with mobile? We're still hitting the back end, snooze server, whatever this thing is called. And then we're also going through varnish. So I don't think varnish is, is really helping anything here, in my opinion. And now we're looking through us, and I want to pay attention to this error, right? Uh, we didn't see an error in the desktop version, but we saw an error here. And I want to actually call that out and see what's the cause of that error, just because I'm nosy. Nothing fancy here. We're doing exactly the same thing we're doing with the... With the desktop version, we're going to multiple domains, which we agreed that this is costly. And if we can avoid hitting multiple domains and hitting only my domain, the one, or preferably the one you served originally, that's the best cost scenario because you're going to take the best efficient use of the original connection that you opened in order to, uh, including the encryption, in order to take that content with you, right? Just stream content from the main site. We saw that with Apple. Apple's very good at that stuff. They just hit one side. We're seeing multiple requests. Uh, here's here's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the prefetch here options. Look at this. V2. This is an API thing. It's called events.redditmedia.com, right? So the first call, obviously, that's a little bit slow if you think about 200, 300. 230 millisecond to establish a connection to that events API thing, right? And then another 165 to encrypt it, and then 77, which is not so bad, to retrieve the content, right? But I want you to pay attention to this. This is an options call. An options call, as I explained in the, uh, in the course video, is made before you make the request to the original thing right and the browser puts this in place to protect the destination server against malicious attacks essentially and to check if you are authorized to do this request and this was the original request the post request the client which is the reddit page i guess wanted to do a post request against the events list it, the client you never do an option implicitly it's all done by the fetch command or the xhr or whatever that thing so you want to do a post and chrome says wait a second are you even allowed to do a post post are good methods however they are only safe with specific content types like text like uh, the xxx form data right but you're sending application.json i have no idea that the server supports application.json so I got to check with the server first before I let you in. So that's what the server does. And it says, okay, let me do that. And that's the first query with the options, right? And when you do options call, what we get back is this. It says, okay, you can act, allow headers, this following headers, content type, allow the content type header. It's okay. You can do that. Allow this method of all send options it has to right otherwise you can't do the options allow any origin that means you if you want to you can do a curl against this and it will work curl will always work curl does not has anything to do with course so that will always work right i'm talking about the browser itself you can host a website that calls in the browser calls events.reddit.com and well, that will work keep alive all that stuff and uh, that's it and then the server comes back okay you are allowed to make that request and we actually make that request a post request and and done so i want to go <laughs> through this failed one reddit themselves they are still calling the v1 version so that was the api version too whatever that thing is doing right and if you're making a call to this puppy right immediately you do this the request says hey I want to go to this and I am sending a text, a plain text content. So this is what it's sending. It's sending a plain text, not sending JSON. That is why the browser did not send an option call before the V1 call. 
for to post because it says hey it's it's post i allow it and it's it's essentially it's just uh, uh it's just we're sending text plain so that's absolutely fine so it allowed it but here's what happened when you actually got back a response from the server which is this the server did not have a header that allows that particular origin which is in this case reddit.com even reddit is not allowed to, do, <laughs> to call this method the browser will refuse to serve you that content as a client because it says wait a second you are not allowed to do that because there is no access allow all header right so that's what i want to talk about uh, essentially this is why it failed and it says here's the error there is very clear Access to X from origin reddit.com has been blocked by course policy. No access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. And that's it for me today, guys. Uh, sorry for the long video. Uh, that was Reddit, Dev Tooling Reddit. What should I Dev Tool next? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.